Right, in this video what I'm going to be doing is to show you some fairly advanced methods for finding a potential target for a new drug. So this is really for um, quite advanced level. You don't need to know this to get through the module at all in any form. So there are a number of sites which link diseases to genes and of course once you've got a gene you've pretty much got a target because all you have to do then is to figure out which gene product, which protein is made from that gene and target that. So how do you go about finding less obvious targets for a particular disease? There's actually a number of websites which host um, uh, databases which do this. and uh, they're, they're, they're quite hard to use in some ways. But, um, if I just show you one of them, is called this one DisGNet. Uh, if you just type in www.disgnet.org, it'll take you there. And let me show you how this works. So the first thing you do is to hit a search button here. And again, I want to warn you that quite often the, these are professional databases, so there'll be an awful lot that you don't understand. But the point is, is to follow the bits that you do understand. So let's do a search. And if we're searching for arrhythmia or dysrhythmia, what you'll do is that as you type it, it, it starts to produce suggestions. And you'll notice that we've got several with uh, dysrhythmias. Some of them are less relevant. We're looking for cardiac dysrhythmias. And down here, we can see one that's got 41 genes associated with it. So if we click on that and then hit search and scroll down, you find it's got a summary of disease, gene disease associations. So genes associated with this disease, but also variants as well. So there's variants in genes that are associated. So there's quite a rich source here. Let's go for summary of gene disease associations. If we click on that, we have this rather intimidating chart here. Uh, a lot of these things we don't really need to understand. If you hover over them it tells you roughly what they are. Pleiotrophy, we don't, I don't know what that is, but here we have the specificity, so the higher that is the more this um, protein or gene is associated with the disease and this is the number of diseases associated with this gene. So it gives you an idea of what, what is actually quite uh, specific. So you want something with a low number of diseases and quite a high disease specificity. So this one, the, this one here might be a good one. Just by the way, there are some things that you probably already know and expect to be associated, such as voltage-gated sodium channels and protein kinases. But let's pick this one. I've no idea what this one does. So let's click on it. And what we see is we're given a description in, in PubMed of this gene. And here we have a summary of what the gene actually does. So a member of the A kinase anchor protein family, they bind to the regulatory subunits of protein kinase A. And so we begin to imagine how this might be affecting in disease. So what we want to do is to find out what the mutations in the disease, disease cause. Do they, they cause arrhythmia? So therefore what we want to do is to restore the function of this, of this protein. So already you've got a potential target this way. There are other databases as well, such as one called Malacards, which is M-A-L-A-C-A-R-D-S dot org. So www.malacards.org. That will take you there. So here we do pretty much the same thing again. We search for our disease. And once again, we're finding uh, various suggestions made, but not actually what I was looking for. So I'm going to try arrhythmia. And there we've got cardiac arrhythmia. So if we click on that, hit search. And once again, we end up with a list of diseases and here's cardiac arrhythmia. Let's click on that. 
and you want to scroll down, you've got a number of sections. Remember, because I said before, these are professional databases, they've got a lot of information you don't want, a lot that you won't understand, but we're looking for genes. And if we scroll down here, we actually find a number of genes here. And if you want to know what they do, you click on Show Sections. So this is the evidence, and it's based on variants. So if you click on Variants, it takes you to a site which shows you what this gene does and what its effect has on arrhythmias. So once again, as I keep saying, a lot of stuff that isn't that is confusing and might scare you off. But the point is is to hunt around for information here which might be useful to you.